What's going on, y'all? Stizzy back here with Master Detective Archives Code Rain, or Rain Code Plus, excuse me. And I knew I would mess it up. <laughs> but, well, I have messed it up a couple times, but... Anywho, we're back here in the Nail Man Mystery Labyrinth, and we just figured out the mystery behind all four locked room scenarios, so... Feeling pretty good, feeling like we're on a little bit on a roll here, and now we got solution keys... New solution keys, three out of four. Third room didn't get, was, give us one. But uh, hopefully the new ones we got will help us narrow down the list of suspects until we can finally, finally hammer... No, nail, damn it. I was trying to avoid using nail, but whatever. Maybe I should just lean into it. Nail the nail man. Okay, uh, let's head out. Let's go, indeed. You literally did nothing. Except open all the treasure chests. Which I guess somebody's gotta do. This place is creepy. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. We must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, Robot Yuma isn't here to help you investigate. But I think we can uh, look at this dispassionately long enough to figure out who the culprit is. And oh, looky here! The four churchgoers all caged up. What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! I, I have nothing to do with the case. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Wow, they're all here! <laughs> so now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. The true culprit. Yuma, you solved all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. <laughs> you sure are honest. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Now tie up all the loose ends and prove that I am not mistaken about you. With your logic, anything is possible. All right, I'll try. Whoa, somebody's guilty! My heart's pounding! <laughs> culprit selection. Who's the culprit? Figure it out and hit him with a dramatic figure point. Make the right choice and you'll reveal a new truth. Hmm. Well, the worshipper guy feels like a red herring. Okay, it's just gonna zoom in. I I have wondered about her broken arm. Or maybe it's not broken, but she's got an arm in a sling. And I'm wondering how that could have happened. And if there's anything that was in the rooms or the murders that might have caused that. I think we can rule out we can I believe we could rule out the gambling den and the mansion. Because pres I'm guessing she wouldn't have her arm in a sling for that long. Um, I mean, I get, man, I guess if you really, really fractured it bad, I mean, I know three months is a long time to have your arm in a sling. Um, 
and I'm just trying to think of, you know, what could have happened in those rooms that could have caused that. Um, Because while most of the rooms showed signs of not necessarily struggle, but some things have been moved around, like the gambling den, the roulette table had been moved, some chairs have been flipped, but I think that was the nail man trying to create a dramatic looking scene while also nailing the dolls in place. And I'm thinking back to the art gallery, the woman there died of strangulation she had the rope marks on her neck but she the only thing missing that differentiated between the other victims was she didn't have any scratches scratch marks like she was trying to claw her neck but neck but she did have a wound on the back of her head that looked like it was caused by blunt blunt trauma and i wonder see there was no murder weapon that's the only thing so like I don't even know, like, did she, she hit her back of the head with her fist, but she hit too hard and she broke her hand or something, or or what, so, alright, I'm gonna move on here. Um, my next, honestly, my first instinct was the priest, because he looks like he's got slim enough build to fit through the vent and be able to climb up the nails, and to... Do all the rest of the all the stuff in the locked rooms, you know, creating the locked rooms themselves. Plus, he would have, you know, you know, presumably being the main priest of that church, where the forest with the, all the nailed dolls are, he would know firsthand about the the nail man legend, and he would have known all about it and um, the myth behind it and whatnot. So he may have taken it upon himself to wreak vengeance on these on these people that were these uh, that that had the names on the on the dolls so I'm not sure I'm not the nail man. uh I don't think it's the servant because one he's a really big dude he wouldn't be able to fit through the vent plus he's also the one that provide us provided us with the burnt piece of rope and told us that the incinerator can only be used by people that work in the church. Um, not saying that a murderer can't help an investigation because you know, they might want to try to throw off the investigator, but I don't think it's I don't think it's a servant. I be the nail man? And I don't I, be the I, I don't think it's the worshiper either because even though he does fit the build, he does look like he's probably thin enough to fit through there. In the vent, I mean. He doesn't... Technically, he's not part of the church staff, so he doesn't have access to the incinerator, so he couldn't burn the rope ladder. Plus, he just seems like too easy enough of a target, being a, being a mega fan of the, of the nail man, and being the first one on the scene of the crimes, it would just... It would make him suspect number one, and it's just, it's just too easy. It'd be too easy to be him. Nail man. I would really. I, I'm not the culprit. Um, I'm having. A, I think it's one of these two, but I'm having a hard time deciding which one. To be honest, um. She's got a temper, the nun, and apparently she, her father is a higher up in the Amaterasu corporation, she said, so maybe that's why Seth and the Peacekeepers are going to such lengths to protect her, because maybe they've gotten orders from on high. Yeah. yeah I'm starting to, I'm starting to starting to like like that idea I, I I don't know I I think I'm gonna finger her I mean for the suspect so here goes nothing nope that was well there nothing make me kill your ass. 
Okay, guess it wasn't her. Considering all the evidence gathered so far, only one person can be the nail man. I'm not the nail man. I'm not the culprit. Okay, I guess I should have just gone with my first instinct. I just talked myself into being the nun. Is you, father. What? That's an absolutely ridiculous thing to say. Him again? Why won't he just give up? You're Seriously. A priest, a man of the cloth, is the culprit. That's impossible. How dare you? Spew such nonsense. Right. Do not make baseless accusations. The culprit has to be someone else. Yuma, can I leave this to you? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Go on and boom kill him. Unless, um... Uh... Sorry, I just want to say, unless her arm being in a sling would have... I'm an idiot. Her arm being in a sling, she wouldn't have been able to climb down the up and down the ladder in that case. Or just down the ladder. Uh, and that's the most recent murder. And that just literally happened just like a few hours ago, I think, in-game. So she wouldn't have time to have it put in a cast and put a sling on it by then so yeah okay all right yeah i'm dumb i should have thought of it what the hell <laughs> oh we're gonna fight two shadow guys huh He's got his own assistant. Persons with access to the incinerator, event of the study. I'm a man of the cloth. It's total blessing. I am not the man. That's it. Rubber. Oh, no, that was it. Dang it. I got distracted by the red text. So the nail man isn't the worshiper. It's the priest, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. We just have to find a way to prove it. Oops. Ow. <laughs> Oh, there's a little bit of cool down there after you slash. I don't have to remember that. The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. So he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! Ridiculous! Ooh. That sounded like a guilty party. Burnt rope remains. Victims call of death. The club thin person. I gotta sneeze. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nail man. The servant was able to commit the crimes. To be eliminated as a suspect. Damn it. Ow. He pretended to discover a rope ladder. Right. There are other staffs besides the priest, though. Looks like he plans to have the servant take the fall now. But the servant is the nail man. It was impossible for him to commit one of the crimes. Then, then focus on proving that next. Let's take another look at the solution keys and think it through. Yeah, I... I I, I had the right one, and 
knew where to use it. I just, I, I, if you might have guessed, I sneezed at right at that moment. So. There it is. Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. No, no. Yeah, that fatty couldn't have fit. Non-public information. Fishing line. to be a member of the clergy and thin. If that's all, doesn't the nun also fit the bill? What? She's not the nail man, though. I can prove it. Alright. Um, hold on. I, I gotta look at these. Victims of the serial killings were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. Uh, fishing line in the rocked room. Fishing line was used in the locked room. Mystery of the mansion's kid study. Key's placement implies that only someone with full use of their arms could have fashioned this room. Oh, yeah, well, I guess that too. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to climb up the ladder or uh, configure the, the room in the mansion. with perfect aim with her dominant hand injured the nun couldn't have done that which means she's not the culprit oh that's right the servant said that was her dominant hand yeah although i guess you could have still throw left-handed at that angle too but since it's her dominant hand that's what she would have thrown with You're on your own, buddy. Well, you're useless. I am a priest in service to God. <laughs> He's evolving. I am not the nail man. Uh, you sure you're covered in nails? He looks like Frankie from One Piece. He lost his Marge Simpson hair and he transformed into Frankie. That makes two of us, Yuma. What? A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen, a detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, even with questionable methods. What do you mean? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Oh, we're just gonna lie now. 
Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Hopefully he's not listening to our conversation. It must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Always remember that. A bluff. In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. But what could I use as a bluff? It's over, Frankie Priest. We have the videotape. We know you had a gambling problem, and we know you were having a affair with the mansion owner. Past nail man murder. It's, hold on, hold on, let me see. Uh, murder case report. Report concerning the clock tower murder case. This is footprints. Place of the wall grassy area between the clock tower, apparently made by a dress shoes. Though nothing further could be determined. Yeah, that probably could be it. As a priest, it probably mostly wears dress suit dress shoes. Uh past nail man murders. This is from the church worshipper who knew about the past nail man murders. Nail and painting. Nail is driven into the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll. I think it's the suspicious footprints. Oops. He psyched me out. Uh, oops. I think that might have been it. No, you foot. Dang it. I don't think we found any evidence about fingerprints during the investigation. But what about those footprints? We don't know who they blah 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 blah. Yeah, since this is evidence the criminal left behind, I should be able to use it. Okay. Oh damn it, wrong one. Why, did you leave some blood at the scenes? <laughs> you left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out they perfectly match your footprints. I impossible. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Oops. <laughs> you gave Thanks. yourself away. Rookie mistake. No, that's it. He's done for. Now deliver the killing stroke. I only enacted justice in the name of God. Looks like it worked. Good job, Yuma. Thanks. Our night war is rotten to the core. To save it, someone had to get their hands dirty. Those slain were the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people asked the nail men to kill them. Evil must be punished. And so, I strengthened them Sounds like a confession to me. Oh, I did. A slave evil. But I wonder if Seth will show back up and be a problem. Somebody hates somebody bad enough? They give that name to the nail man. And this priest went around killing those people as the nail man. The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God, but he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. What is awesome? <laughs> it's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. It is. 
but I could kind of see what he was, I mean, I'm just speculating, but I'm guessing since he is a, he was a priest and he did seem to believe that he was enacting justice on evildoers and that he was doing God's work that it's like he, 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 what am I trying to say? He emulated the nail man's legend to like, you know, create this, this sort of mystique and rumor that there is a, there is this vigilante in the shadows and that he will, you know, punish people that prey on others in the city and that they start, you know, you know, behaving, you know, <laughs> better and, you know, treating other people, uh, more better. Okay, I'm floundering now, so moving on. Nope. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. Did you say I was pitiful? Finally over? Huh, nothing's happening. But last time. Yeah. The soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. Somebody was covering up for him. It didn't. It looks like this isn't over yet. Huh? It's not over? There are still mysteries related to the mailman killings within this mystery labyrinth. But we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the mailman. Was I wrong? But the, the priest even confessed to it. Calm down, Yuma. There's no need to panic. If the nailman's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be solved, then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings. Someone else's agenda? Meaning the nailman didn't work alone. You mean... There's another culprit? But... Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh. Alright. We have to review these killings from a different perspective. Now, see, <laughs> detectives in this world can't see every mystery to it through to its end. Are you telling me every mystery outside of the Kanai Ward has been solved? I mean, what's the goal of mystery then? We're hiding a mysterious secret. It would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Different. Master, I get the feeling you got my help. Isn't that right? That's what you want, right? You always assume that. Oh, fine. I can't say no to you when you're so helpless like that. I could use a little puff puff. Okay, Four barrels, eh? Good luck. Fight on, Master Trainee. Hello, or will it recognize your skills one of these days? Didn't she already? Not a bad deduction, but there's still more to be solved. Don't ease up now. Uh, do I pick the one that's different from the others? I'd say the most different one would be the third locked room with the woman with the with the wound on the back of her head. Everybody else, and she was missing the scratch marks too. So I'm gonna go with that one. This rock was different from the other's victim the others because of the victim's wound, maybe? Is there a W? No. Um Death, I guess. Yeah. Ah, let me get the... Hey, yeah, I got it. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do. There we go. D E A T H. What does that spell? Death, death, death. Man, I wish I had a drink. Oh, I do. I wish I had a stronger drink. A new path's opened up. It seems to be a hidden passage. If so, then the truth should be somewhere down there. Let's go. Yeah. Let's all follow the non-yellow brick road. It is kind of a yellowish tint. I see. So the cause of death for the victim of the art gallery storage is the only one that's different. Right. The victims in the other watch rooms were all strangled to death. All had strangulation marks and scratches, defensive wounds. The victim in the third locked room had strangulation marks, but no signs of resisting. There's also evidence of blunt trauma to the head, which can be considered the fatal blow. The marks could have been made after the victim died, so as to appear as if strangulation was the cause of death. The real cause of death is blunt force trauma. Right, but who could have caused it? Hmm. And also, the all the victims could have been specifically targeted. What I mean is, like, someone could have... The same person could have nailed their nameplates on the dolls and, you know, put the doll... You know, nail the dolls up on the trees in the forest behind the church so that they specifically would be targeted by the nail man. But it's likely to be an insignificant one. Yuma, let's solve this mystery and move on. Right. A, a geez, pineapple door. Pineapple door! Why was the cause of death made to look like strangulation? Uh... The work of a copycat? Um, it's not coincidence, but... I mean... There must be a reason it was set up this way. You have to figure out the rest for yourself. I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh, I got it! Huh? The answer is, the culprit's got a choking fetish! Don't be grist. This isn't even a door for that. Yeah, choking's different from strangulation. Choking is when there's an obstruction in the throat that closes the airways. Strangulations is when... There's a rope or hands close around a victim's throat and shuts off the airways from the outside. I guess it's the work of a copycat. If we're looking for another culprit in this case. This crime had the same perpetrator as the other three incidents. By making the crime scene as similar as possible. Well, it then had been only two incidents. The mailman was responsible for an unrelated murder. Which means this was a copycat crime. I agree. It was the boy. <laughs> The string of mailman killings. There could be some that were done by copycat criminals. That has to be why the mystery labyrinth still remains, even after discovering the mailman's identity. So who is the copycat criminal? Indeed. We need to uncover this imposter's identity. All right. Okay, I just got a really disturbing thought. 
And I don't... I'm all teary-eyed there. He wouldn't say anything. It's... No. That was... It's stupid. He wouldn't have... I was thinking that he was able to, like, throw his little... His old baseball... Through the tiny window in the storeroom of the art gallery. And hit the back of that woman's head. But... No. He may not even, the ball may not even fit through there. And the way the... It's one of those... Awning windows that doesn't fully open it only opens part way and also he wouldn't be tall enough and he wouldn't be strong enough to stack more crates up to uh get the right height no it's not me uh, the servant or the I told you already i have nothing to do with this it's probably not the worshiper again since he was also, the first one on that's at the scene of the crime. Then, no, the servant could have been in cahoots, and he's probably certainly strong enough to kill the woman. But you're accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What the hell? I'll I'm, kill your ass. I'm thinking it's her. I think she punched the woman in the back of the head, or or maybe got injured in the struggle or something, and. Uh, her, had to get her arm treated and it's been a sl in a cast and sling because that was about a month ago and yeah, it would probably still be in there. Or, uh, that's totally wrong and it's somebody else. Make me kill your ass. The culprit can only be the copycat by having info about the other crime scenes. So it has to be that person. Oh, it is the... It is, it is the worshiper. Is this, is this labyrinth gonna, gonna keep going on until, like, there's something that implicates every single one of these people and that they are all working together? Yeah, it's gotta be him. He's got the, he's got the info of the scenes. You are the copycat criminal. Huh? Me? What are you talking about? I told you all about the nail man, and even cooperated with your investigation. And now you think I'm a murderer? Are you fucking kidding me? This is crazy. Your investigation isn't worth shit. I brought you to dust. It's another nail, Frankie. Woman's course past mail man. Nail man murder. Let me go over these real quick. Woman's course, like the other victims, there are no signs of there are signs of strangulation, but no wounds from resisting and signs of blunt force tra trauma to the back of the head. He might have used a paint can from the storeroom to kill her. Oh, and maybe that's why he kicked it over so that they wouldn't see. Maybe there's some blood on the can. That's why he kicked it over to make a mess and cover it up. Past nail man murders. This information was obtained from the church worshiper who knew about the past ma nail man murders. Well, yeah, he, he uh, knew all about it and how to recreate the locked rooms. Um, victims next. There are rope marks caused by strangulation and wounds from resisting. There are also string marks on the back of the neck. Yeah, that's. Totally irrelevant, I think. Not public information. The victims of the serial killings were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. Yeah, so only someone who was you know, on the scene at the time of the murders you know, was there to be the first witness. You know, would know uh, how they died. I could see either of these being. Um. I think it's not, I think it's going to be this one. I was just first on the scene. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? It could have all been the nail man. The cause of death 
just different each time, yeah? Even if there was a copycat criminal... Um, maybe... Why didn't that... I don't think so. That's not right. It was public information. Or was it? The cause of death in the art gallery was blunt force trauma, faked as a strangling to resemble the nail man's MO. But the murders all being strangulations wasn't made public right away. The only ones who knew that were those who actually set foot on the crime scenes. That includes the mailman himself, the peacekeepers, and the first eyewitnesses on the scene. Which means you. You could have committed the murder in the art gallery. Run away, you little bitch. Just go after him. That's something else that's kind of kind of bugging me. Why? For the first on the scene to also be the culprit is rather cliche. He was always suspicious, but because the real mailman was someone else, I didn't connect the dots. He was fascinated by the mailman, and by studying him, he eventually knew more about him than anyone else. Ultimately, he became the mailman. It's ironic that he exposed his own crime by knowing too much about the other ones. Master, the truth is right there! My radar is banging like crazy! Banging? What I was going to say was, um... Oh, she keeps interrupting me. Like we've arrived at the final stage. If we make him submit, we'll completely solve the mystery labyrinth. Master, don't let your guard down. Yeah. Oh, I won't. But um, what I was going to say is, is was the first killing. Was that the? I mean, was there a nail man killing in the past? I know it's a legend, but how did he know the priest was going to murder someone in the style of the nail man, or the style of the legend? I should say. I guess if he was a worshiper and he was hanging around, he might have known, might have learned of the priest's intention, um, and then was able to be on the first on the scene at the underground casino. Chop! 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 Maybe we'll learn more about that. Maybe it's just like what I said. You know, he was just, he was around the church and he learned about what the priest was going to do. Okay. What was it? Circle for the, circle for the cannonballs, square for the walls and X and uh, X for the spikes. Yeah. Oh, I thought that I did that too soon. Destroy the solution with the... Wait a minute. Uh, you didn't even check the crime scenes back then. Uh, oh, well. Now we were able to see them back then because of the... Uh, because of Halara's forte, so... Yeah! to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, 
but how it appeared when a third party first entered. Hey, Alara should be here. She should be riding in the crown. If I was like, I'd be like, what the hell is postcognition? I wonder if detective fortes are public knowledge. They love their walls. That's what you Never think. Find the culprit. What you saw is only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. Uh, what you saw is only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. Uh, thin person clue. Not public information. Usually. And I'm, I say usually because I'm basing this off of the Ding and Rapa games. Usually, you don't use a clue more than once, but it it's not always the case. Sometimes you can, but in this case, what you saw is only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. I think some of the serial killings were all strangled, but the cause of death is not publicized. Only people who entered this crime scene know this fact. Uh, let's see, nail the paint evidence found related to the murder in that art gallery storage room. A nail is driven to the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll. Um, evidence found related to the murder in the art gallery storage room. By the time the body was discovered, someone from the church tried to enter and knocked over a paint can. The art gallery employee claims he was the one who unlocked the door, but was fr too afraid to open it. Instead, he watched from behind as the person from the church opened the door. When that person opened the door, he stopped at the side of the victim. That was when the paint can was knocked over. The person from the church who the art gallery staff member is referring to is likely the worshiper who always discovers the victims. Um, I don't know if this disproves exactly what he's saying, but because it was evidence, it was testimony we got from the art gallery worker after the fact. Um, I'm going to try, although I'm I'm not super confident. Postcognition showed us that the paint can at the gallery storage entrance had been knocked over, and according to the art gallery staff member's testimony, that was your doing. You went into the crime scene first and the art gallery employee behind you noticed you knocking over the paint can. But, Polaris postcognition only shows the scene when the corpse is first discovered. So if you were the first person to find the body, the scene before the paint can fell over would have been recreated. But it wasn't. The paint can had already been knocked over when the corpse was discovered. That means the first person to find the corpse was the art gallery staff member. Not you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. If you didn't count as the first person to find it. Is because you're the culprit. This is the truth of the case. Yes. Yeah, that does make sense now. <laughs> Shitty got me slice. No. You broke down my walls. You tore them down. Now I'm just a gay looking Frankenstein. I wonder if after of this, both the priest and the worshiper will die.
Or only the worshiper. I would assume it's both since they were both culprits. Deduction didn't do no more. Um How long is this episode? Wow, this is going on almost 51 minutes. Okay. I'm actually going to stop this episode right here. And then I'm going to pick it up you know, right after this. And we'll lay out all the murders in order. And then after that, Yuma will lay it all out. Because if the first crime was any indication, it, it'll take over like 10 minutes just for him to recount all the events. So... That'll take a while, and definitely outside of the, uh, it'll be, it'll blow past what the remaining duration I have for this video. So that's it for this one, but stay tuned. Like I said, I'll pick up right after this, so it won't be long, and I will see y'all on the other side. Till then, y'all take care.